Hi Ear Ones. Happy Snow Day. Oh, I mean Monday. Say hi, sweet. Right, now today we're going to do some more measuring. But first of all, let's start off with another challenge from Sweep. OK, let's zoom in a little bit. So here is today's challenge from Sweep. And it's true or false again. So the statement says the total length of the pencil and the rubber is 10 cubes. Oh, hold on a moment. The total length. Oh, here's the word total. What does total mean? Do you know sweep? Oh, you're not sure either. OK, well, total. Let me explain. If I've got some Lego bricks, so I've got one, two, three red bricks. Let's move them over there. And I've got two yellow Lego bricks. And if I want to add them together, three, add two, my answer would be the total. So total is the answer when we're adding things together. So what is the total? Three plus two. Well, three red, four, Five. So the total of Lego bricks is five. OK, let's get back to Sweep's problem. So Sweep is saying the total length of the pencil and the rubber is 10 cubes. Oh, it's 10 cubes there. OK, you know what to do. Pause the video, have a talk about it, have a chat with mum or dad. And then when you're ready, when you think you've got an answer, press play again. OK, welcome back. Right. If you think this statement is true, that the rubber and the pencil are 10 cubes in length, give us a thumbs up. If you think it's false, then give the thumbs down. OK, should we find out? Here we go. False. It's wrong. The total length of the pencil and the rubber is in fact Seven cubes, not ten. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can you see where they went wrong before? Yes, they left a gap, didn't they, between the two objects. Now, when we're measuring their length, we have to put them together. We can't leave gaps. But that was a good one, Sweep. Thank you. Did you get that right, children? Thank you, Sweep. OK, now. Here we've got a small remote control and we, I'm going to find out the length of my remote control. So I'm going to use, oh I'll use red I think, I'm going to use my Lego bricks again. But remember you, we can use anything can't you, as long as they're all the same. So one, two, three, oh it's tricky on the carpet. Three, and one more makes four. So the length of my small remote control is four Lego bricks. Oh, hold on though. Here I've got a long remote control. Now, I want to find out the length of my longer remote control. So here we go. I'm going to do two at a time. So I've got two. And two more makes four and two more. Oh, look, four. That was the same as the small remote control. But we've got to keep on going. So two more. So I had four, five, six. And I think there's just room for one more. So my long remote control is seven Lego bricks long. Now, my question to you is, what is the total length of the two remote controls? What is the total 
length. Well, I think we need to put one next next to the other, don't we? And we could do that, but I, I'm going to put my big one first, because I prefer putting my biggest number first. So I'm going to move that one up there, because that was four, wasn't it? For the small one. And I've got my seven for the longer remote control. So let's pop that in there. There we go. You'd be thinking of your answer, children. The total length. So there we go. I think that's just about okay. So the question is, what's the total length? So we've got seven add four. Seven yellow bricks plus four red bricks. Call out the answer because I'm sure you've got there before me. And I'm going to put a total rather than equals there. And the total is 11. So there we go. The total length of my two remote controls is 11 Lego bricks. Super. Right. OK, last thing to do. Now, I've got here a little table and Mum and Dad can print this off or you can copy this down. And here we've got some different objects. So we've got scissors, a book, a pencil and a rubber. And on this side, it says number of. So I'm going to measure. I want you to measure each of these objects that you can find around your house. And here you can decide what you're going to measure them in. So you might, like me, measure them in Lego bricks. So you could draw a Lego brick there. However, you might just want to measure your objects, I don't know, in, in, in coins. There's a 10p. Or you might want to measure your objects, I don't know, in gems. Whatever you would like to do, whatever you've got at home. So you write down how many of the object you've chosen, how long each object is using your, your the, the object you've chosen and write down your answers in the table. OK, now once you've done that, remember to measure very carefully. When you've done that, you're then going to answer some questions and I'll just zoom out a bit. Here are the questions. Now, again, even Mum and Dad could print these out or they could just read them to you. And you can use your answers on your table. Use the numbers that you'd work, you've worked out to answer these questions. I'll just read the first one for you. What is the total length of the scissors and the book? The next one. What is the total length of the pencil and the rubber? And the last one. What is the total length of the longest object and the shortest object? OK, children, so that's the task today. Have fun with your measuring um, and me and Sweep look forward to see uh, what you come up with. So happy snow day and see you soon. Bye.